Good evening. Let's bowl off with cricket tonight. And Guyana retained the local 2020 cricket title this past weekend. The Guyanese flag was fluttering in the wind at the Smith Road Oval as their team proved that they own that facility. All-rounder Kevin Bezo had another solid game for the Guyanese team, propelling Guyana to a four-run victory over a trouble, a tough World Stars team, that is. Batting first, Guyana scored 130 for four of their 20 overs, and they got solid knocks from Sean Cameron and Gerard Christian along with Basil. But it was Basil's bowling performance uh, that impressed the large crowd on hand. The world stars needing just 11 runs to win in the final over, but Basil masterfully negotiated the tricky six balls to pull off a stunning victory for his team. Jalon Linton scored 52 for the world stars in the loss. In the third place playoff, Barbados won that game against the Jamaican side. So yesterday we told you about the four Caymanian football players signed to contracts at Ashford Town in Middlesex in England. Well tonight we tell you about a young man making his move up the tennis ranks. Panav Ja grew up here in Grand Cayman and is now a world-ranked tennis player and a student at a prestigious university in the United States hoping to make it big. But the journey hasn't been always easy. I remember my lows and highs, but I fought through them. Panav Ja possesses the rare combination of talent, determination and focus. I think it just shows the real fighter in you. The six foot three inch tennis sensation is a long way from the lanky St. Ignatius student who followed his tennis loving parents to the courts. I remember when I was like six months in, I told myself I want to, you know, play the sport and I started playing every day. Okay, you can see that how much the Family loves tennis. His father, Dr. Gianendra Ja, keeps a close eye on his son and his growing list of achievements on and off the court. Panav has won gold at the Canada Games and is now a freshman at the prestigious University of Kentucky studying finance. Our family is a family of all professionals, so they had the pressure to really perform in some field. And this was totally a new area that we never ventured out. The magnitude of the challenge isn't lost on Panav, who works tirelessly at improving his game. It's been a constant grind to, uh, to get better. Cutting out the, the unforced errors, you're cutting out the small mistakes, and that's, that's what makes it to the top. He's uh, putting whatever 100 person into tennis, but at the same time, he's not looking that the tennis is going to really give him something. Now he's also helping others live the dream. Minutes after returning home from school last week, he spent time with our young players offering key advice on not just the game, but the road to success in the classroom. I don't want a lot of kids to go through like, you know, the same struggles and there is a lot of rules nowadays with the NCAA. It's like it'd be probably best like for these kids to know these kind of things. So. A road to success, which is just starting for the teenager, who hopes to serve up more on and off the court in the future. Got it. All the best to Panav Ja going into 2011. And I got a very special visit today from a hard-working Christmas helper. He came with his funny hat, and squeaky toys, and Christmas cheer. Uh, can you guess who this is? Oh. I'll give you a few more seconds. It's coach Jerry Harper, and he stopped by with an update on the popular dashing through the sand run. Pushing off Boxing Day, he also showed off the new dashing t-shirt, a collector's item according to coach, and it was designed by John Broad. It will be a hot commodity on race day with runners and officials. Even our director, Jeremy Davies, plans to get one of those t-shirts when he lines up with the rest of the runners in the dashing event Boxing Day from Hemingway's. To get in trouble with any of the gods of luck or unluck, so mm -hmm. we made it very simplistic. But it is Lucky 13, and we will have a lot of theme related prizes. We really, really like to have people email or call in their registrations early so we know how many breakfasts we want and stuff like that. And we deliver the shirts to people as long as we can get them there. Sounds like a fun day coming up. Race day registration will be over at the Deckers parking lot starting an hour before the race. But as coach said, it's easier to register earlier, especially the registrations on caymanactive.com. The run starts on the beach by Hemingways and ends at Tiki Beach, Seven Mile Beach, for breakfast and prize giving.